Solve each equation for the unknown variable. I'm going to show you one of each, one with an x and one with a y, so that way you can use them as a sample. Here, when x is equal to 2, we're going to substitute in for the x. So y equals 0 0.25, and we're replacing the x with a 2. Well, if I multiply 0.25 by 2, that gives me 0 0.5. So y equals 0 0.5. In this one, it says y equals 2, so we're going to put that in the y position. To solve it for x, I have to undo what is happening to x. Right now it's being multiplied by 0 0.25. So I have to undo that by dividing. These divide out. 0.25 is like a quarter. If I divide 4 or 2 by a quarter, that's like multiplying it by 4. So I would get x is equal to 8. So if it gives you the y, plug it in for y and divide. If it gives you the x, plug it in for x and multiply. In the figure shown, triangle DEF is a scale drawing of ABC. Is DEF an enlargement or reduction of ABC? Explain how you know. I'm going to write it up here so I have more room. Triangle DEF is an enlargement because the side lengths are larger than in the original. Determine the scale factor and use it to calculate the length of side DE. In order to find the scale factor, we need to use two corresponding sides. Here I see DF corresponds with AC. They're located in the same position. So I'm going to divide the new by the original, the scale by the original. So 8 and 1 sixth divided by 3 and 1 half. I'm going to change these to improper fractions. 8 times 6 is 48 plus 1 more makes 49. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 more makes 7. And then I'm going to use the leave, change, Flip. I know that 49 and 7 both have a factor of 7. 7 times 7 is 49, and 7 times 1 is 7. Now I have 7 times 2 is 14, and 6 times 1 is 6. Both of those have a factor of 2 in them, so I can reduce this. 14 is 7 twos, and 6 is 3 twos. So our scale factor is 7 thirds. But I still need to use that to find the length of DE. Side DE corresponds to side AB. So I'm going to use 4 and 1 fifth and the scale factor to figure out what the length of side DE is. So once I have the scale factor, I'm going to take the original side length and multiply by the scale factor 
to figure out that missing side length. I'm going to change this improper fraction. 4 times 5 is 20, plus more and more is 21 fifths. I know 21 is 7 threes, and 3 is 1 3. 7 times 7 is 49, and 5 times 1 is 5. 5 fits into 49. 9 times, because 9 times 5 is 45. 45 plus 4 would get me to 49. So this is 9 and 4 fifths. We weren't given any units, like inches or centimeters, so we are just going to write 9 and 4 fifths units. Sean created a pentagon and a scale drawing of the pentagon. Write an equation that relates the side lengths of the scale drawing to the side lengths of the original figure. Let y represent the side lengths of the scale drawing and x represent the corresponding side length of the original figure. So our job is to figure out, first things first, the scale factor. The way we find the scale factor is the new divided by the original side lengths. The new has a side length of 1, and the original has a side length of 4. I chose those sides because they are corresponding side lengths, meaning they're in the same location of, this, of, the, of the picture. And they're also whole numbers, so it makes it simple to work with. 1 divided by 4 could be written as a scale factor of 1 fourth. So in our equation that we've been working with, you use this template, y equals kx. The k stood for the constant of proportionality, but now we know in pictures that that constant of proportionality is the same as a scale factor. So this will say y equals one fourth x. B. Complete the table by using the equation from part A. These are all x values, so in order to figure out the y value, we are going to multiply by replacing the x with the original figure length and multiplying it by one fourth. So this will say y equals one fourth times two and a half. We could rewrite two and a half. Two times two is four, plus one more is five. One times five is five, and four times two is eight. Now we're going to do the same thing for the next side length. One fourth times three and three fifths. Well three times five is fifteen plus three more is eighteen. One times eighteen is eighteen and four times five is twenty. That's an okay answer but we could also reduce it. 2 fits into 18 9 times, and 2 fits into 20 10 times, or 9 tenths. Pentagon F, G, H, I, J is a scale drawing of Pentagon A, B, C, D, E. So we are going to create a table that involves the corresponding side lengths. So in the original figure, we have a 9 and 1 half that corresponds to a 14 and a quarter.
and we have a 3, which corresponds with 4 and a half. We have 7 and 9 in the original picture, but we don't have any. Oh, wait, 9 corresponds with 13 and a half. The 7 doesn't have a listed side length, so we're going to write the 7 down. We don't know what goes here yet. And then we have a 9 in the scale drawing, but not in the original. So we're going to put the 9 in the scale drawing section, and we've got to figure out what goes there. We're going to use some of the parts B and so on to help us figure out these missing pieces. B says write an equation that relates the side lengths of the scale drawing to the side lengths of the original figure and define your variables. The new or the scale drawing will be y and the original will be x. To figure out the scale factor, I'm going to use the new side length divided by a corresponding original side length. So I'm going to find k by doing 4.5 divided by 3. I'm going to convert 4.5 to a, an improper fraction. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 more is 9. And then I'm going to change it to a multiplication problem by flipping this fraction over. 9 times 1 is 9. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 and 9, or 6 and 9, both have a factor of 3 in them. 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 2 is 6. So our equation should say y equals kx, but we just figured out that the k, or the scale factor, is 3 over 2. You could rewrite that as 1 and a half. But likely in the next couple problems, we'll want it as an improper fraction for multiplying purposes. So I'm just going to leave it for now. Now we need to determine the length of side HI. In the picture, HI would be a new side length. That would be a Y value. So I'm going to use the corresponding side. The original length, 7, is going to replace the x value. Remember, there's an invisible 1 under every whole number. 3 times 7 is 21. 2 times 1 is 2. We can rewrite that as a mixed number. 2 fits into 21 10 times, because 2 times 10 is 20, plus I still have one extra part. Now our job is to determine the side length for DE. DE is from the original, so this is the x value that we're looking for. The new version, or the scale drawing version, that y value is 9. So it's going to go in the y position of our equation. So it will say 9 equals 3 over 2x. x is being multiplied by 3 over 2, but I'm trying to solve for x. So I'm going to want to divide by 3 over 2 on both sides. These will divide out, and I'll be left with x. I have 9 divided by 3 over 2 will equal x. I'm going to change this to a multiplication problem by flipping the fraction over. But I'm actually going to use the dot for multiplication so I don't confuse my variable x with the multiplication symbol. 9 times 2 is 18 over 3. 3 fits into 18 6 times. So x will say 
6. It has a side length of 6. Look at this diagram from question 4. It says, polygon PQRSTU is a scale drawing of polygon ABCDEF. Determine the length of side AB. I don't have any original side lengths to go off of. So I can't create a scale factor. But maybe I can find some other relationship within the picture to help me answer this question. I see that four and a quarter and eight and a half, there's some kind of relationship there. If I multiply by two, four times two is eight, and two times a quarter is two quarters, which is the same as eight and a half. So that tells me that PQ is twice as long as UP. But I still don't have any information in this picture to help me answer what side length AB should be. But if I knew FA, I could multiply it by 2 to tell me how long side AB is. I'm going to give you that side FA is 6 and 3 eighths. Now knowing that information, since this side times 2 tells us this side, we can multiply this by 2 to tell us side AB. 6 times 2 is 12. 3 times 2 is 6. So I have 12 and 6 eighths. 6 and 8 both have a 2 in common. It takes 3 2's to make 6 and 4 2's to make 8. So this is 12 and 3 quarters of a unit long for side AB. Please make sure your warm-up is finished and your workbook is filled in.